Hello and welcome to the homework for lesson two of grade two, module two. First thing you want to do before you forget it, write your name. Get it down there right before you forget it. And having said that, I'm going to scroll this down to the bottom here so we can see all of the problems. Uh, use we're using a centimeter square at the bottom. It says at the bottom of the next page to measure the length of each object and mark the endpoint of the square as you measure. At the bottom of the second page there's a little square that's exactly a centimeter across and you can cut that out with some scissors and use that to mark and move if you don't have a cube or something like that. We're not using a ruler for this and you're gonna see what everything looks like when you use the cube because I'm using this I've got a green square this green square right here. I'm gonna use this to mark and move and I'm gonna show you what it looks like but we're not using a ruler, we're marking and moving. So here's our first one, the picture of this glue, this bottle of glue. So we've got right about there, and then I have to mark it. So mark it right there, and now I'm going to move it, move it, move it. And then we mark it again. And the reason we're doing this, instead of using a ruler, is we want you to learn how to count. We're counting, the whole point is that we're counting centimeters. Before we start using a ruler and you start counting numbers instead of centimeters, which isn't what you really should be doing. I'm going to make sure you know about... about counting centimeters first. So there's another one. That's our third centimeter. And I'm going to move it again. I know this is super exciting. And then you can see we're going to need one more centimeter here. right? And that gets us all the way to the end. And so that that's going to be... How many centimeters is that going to be? That's going to be... You can see that's going to be one, two, three, four, and that's the fifth centimeter, so it's five centimeters long. Now you got to have all of these, you don't have to have all those circles, but you have to have the marks in between that you made for mark and move, you have to have those. So to use, it's really about using this centimeter square and uh, and marking and moving. you got to have those marks and you got to have, the, and I wrote the five in the wrong place, didn't I? I did. So I'm going to erase that. I'm going to rewrite it up here. It's five centimeters long. All right, and now we're going to do the uh, do a little picture of the lollipop. Move that square down here. And we've got, you know, these are endpoints right here. These lines right here mark the endpoints of the lollipop. So we're going to go from endpoint to endpoint. All right, and then we can mark there. And there, and I mark there, and you can tell you're doing a good job of this if your marks are kind of evenly spaced apart from each other. If there's like some of them are a lot wide, a lot wider than others, then you can tell that you might want to erase and remark. But really, this is all about the. I mean, the word about is in all of these about so it's not supposed to be exactly perfect when you're doing this but sometimes you and sometimes you have to actually practice this method when you don't have a ruler or you have some all you have is like some reference thing that you use so it's, a lot of times you get caught you don't always have a ruler with you when you have to measure something there's another one Mark and move and mark and move and mark and you can see we're gonna have to move one more time and the mark the last mark is already made for us right here it's the other end point. Right there. 
and I'll just get this out of the way and make that last mark. So that's right there, and then this is where we started over here. So that took us what? One, two, three. And you don't have to write these numbers, but you have to have those marks again to show you mark the move. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So the picture of the lollipop is about eight centimeters long. And now we have our last our last one here. Oops. And we're measuring these scissors. Start at the end point right there. Mark. You might be able to tell these scissors are a little bit shorter than <clears throat> than that uh, lollipop. So it looks like we're going to come in probably around, I'm going to guess, estimate here that we're going to come in around 7. Because it looks like maybe you're seeing what I can see from here. It's that these endpoints kind of line up on the left. And then this one comes down to here. It looks like this is about where the 7 was. Sure, the suspense is killing me. We'll move on. And we got one last mark to make here. Right there. So get this out of the way and we'll count. Oops. We'll get this out of the way and we'll count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, and it did turn out to be seven. Now notice I'm not counting the marks I made. I'm counting the spaces in between the marks. Very important difference. Because if you count this, you count this as one, you're going to end up with eight for your answer. And it's not eight, it's seven. We're counting that's a centimeter from, from this end point to there. That's one centimeter. And there's another centimeter. And another. we're counting centimeters, not marks. It's very important to keep that straight. So that's seven centimeters long. There's our answer is seven centimeters long. All right, now we're ready for the next page. All right. There it is. Now, <clears throat> Samantha used a centimeter cube. Samantha used a centimeter cube and the mark and move forward strategy to measure these ribbons. Use her work to answer the following questions. So we have a red ribbon, a blue ribbon, and a yellow ribbon. And you can color those in if you want, but you don't have to. I'm not gonna. Uh, our first question is, how long is the red ribbon? Well, it's we're gonna count centimeters, right? So it's the space in between. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine centimeters long. And again, if you counted the marks, you're gonna get 10 because you'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not ten, it's nine centimeters. Centimeters are the distance between the marks, not the not the marks. So don't be careful not to cut the mark. Alright, now how long is the blue ribbon? One, two, three, four, five, six centimeters long. And how long is the yellow ribbon? It's one, two, three, four, four centimeters long. And you'll see down here at the bottom, here it is, the centimeter square I told you about on the first page that you can cut out. But right now we're, we're working on question D right here. Which ribbon is the longest? Well, the red ribbon was nine. You can just look at them. You can scroll up and just look at which one's the longest. It's got to be the red one. 
red one's the longest. Which one is the sh which one is the shortest? That's going to be the yellow ribbon. That's the shortest one. And the total length of the ribbons is how many centimeters? So the total length is going to be right. We have the red one is nine plus the blue one is six plus the yellow one is four. And we have to figure out what is that total. So that's our unknown is what the total is. Well, you may hopefully you recognize this right off that oh six and four is a way to make ten. And you should recognize that right off if you're good at your parts of ten. And if you're not, practice them some more because they really, really help. So we've got a ten and a nine. Ten nine. Nine ten. Nine ten. Nineteen. It's gonna be nineteen centimeters. <laughs> 